Hello everyone and welcome back to the farm. So last night, I believe we had four new lambs. I think it was two singles and then one twin. So we've got one sheep with a single way out there. Then in here we have this one, right here. It's just a single lamb. That's a 21 year. Then over here we have the twins. This is her first time having. They're fairly small. So I'm gonna iodine their cords. Using this little iodine cup, it holds most of the iodine down here and then you tilt it like this and it fills that up. Works pretty good. It keeps mess to a minimum. So these, she didn't exactly like the one lamb, so we put them in here. I think she's gonna be fine with them though. So we don't always iodine their umbilical cords. Like today it's probably 40 degrees or so. So we decided to do them. It's nice and dry so it's not that bad but if it's like well below freezing we probably won't do it because there's not too high of a risk of infection. So far this year it's been really nice for lambing. It's been pretty dry. It would be nice to get a little rain though. That way the pastures can start growing. Cause so far we haven't had much rain at all. Now these sheep need some hay. We've been giving them some corn. So I fed them their corn earlier. So now I'm gonna give them their hay. Gave him some nice green alfalfa. Might grab a cake here. Throw it in with the sheep. Your sheep. There you go. We're gonna tag some lambs now. We got that tagger at Premier One, right? Yeah. Then we use this super lube we've had this for a long time we put that on the tag yeah we're gonna re-tag this mom then too she has a black tag there and that means that her first year she didn't have a lamb so this is her first time having a lamb so we're gonna put the southern yellow tag in. So we got this little lamb here we're gonna tag now. It's just a single. We normally try to tag them pretty soon after they're born because it seems like the older they get, the more it hurts their ears. So now we're gonna work on making a creep feeder pen for in the barn here. We have the lambs from last year on the advantage feeder, so we can't use that. So we're gonna use some other feeders and have them in here. We'll use a creep gate. Actually, the creep gate's back there. We'll use that, it's from Ketchum's. 
Then we'll just use some other feeders. So here the creep gate is. It's got the walkthrough gate, so it works pretty nice. We're gonna use that, and then I'm not sure what panels we use for sure. Probably gonna put that creep pen just kind of right there. It's just kind of in the middle of this big pen here. That's what we're thinking anyway. set up now we just got a stainless steel feeder in there then we got our creep gate here it has these rollers that the lambs fit through and then there's the holes up here so we can adjust how wide the lambs are but this is probably how we'll want it we'll just let it like that Now we'll just fill buckets with creep feed off this auger, then we'll just haul them into the barn there. That'll be the simplest way to do it, probably. There's no real good way to do it. So we got some creep feed in there. Not a whole lot. We were kind of low on feed, we'll need to make more soon. Now we just need to wait for them to find it. So the sheep are coming in, it's time to feed them their corn. Chad will normally sweep the trough out just to make sure it's all clean before we put their corn in there. Hey kids. So now that all the sheep are in here eating, the lambs will normally just be out here playing. They're a bunch are. Normally when their moms eat is when they play the most. They don't have anything else to do. It's almost getting dark, but tomorrow's the sheep sale. So we're gonna sort some lambs off, probably take, I don't know, maybe like 10 in. So we're gonna try to get that done before it gets dark. We sorted the bigger ram lambs down there, then we ran the others out there. So now we'll sort these again, pull off whatever we want. Here's the ram lambs we sorted off. We weighed them and they average 
about 84 pounds. It's 10 of them. So we'll see how much they sell for tomorrow. So at the auction, the lambs weighed about 81 pounds, and they sold for 310 a pound. So it was about $250 a head for them. We were really happy with that. We thought that was a pretty good price. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll see you next time.